Welcome back. It's now 751 Memorial Day weekend almost here. That means backyard barbecues and maybe not the healthiest of menus, but there are better options out there. Here to help us now is Karina Heinrich, nutritionist and celebrity health coach. Good morning, Karina. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for being here. So you say don't skip the barbecue, but try to squeeze in some sort of family workout before you chow down. How do we do that? Yeah, the best way to get your families outside and get their bodies moving is to create a really interactive, lively space with lots of different options. I encourage you to put on some fun, upbeat music for spontaneous dance parties. It's really easy to set up games of musical chairs, tug of war, three-legged races, potato sack races. These are the classics that are attention gabbers because we all know how to play them. Put the screens down, right? Get the screens the, get away. The, get the screens <laughs> out of their hands and get outside. Get outdoors. <laughs> yes. Um, so can we enjoy a hamburger still, or do we still need to try to load up that plate with some veggies? Well, we know that barbecues are usually heavy on meat, refined carbs, desserts, and really light on those fruits and veggies. But I really encourage that you have a mix, okay? So you want to focus on making sure that at least half of your plate is filled with fruits and veggies. A fresh salad is always a great clean choice, but you can also opt for mixed green bean salad, spiralized veggie noodles, fresh veggies, dips like salsa and guacamole that we all love. Also, burger buns tend to fill us up without providing a lot in the way of nutrition. So I always encourage clients to choose whole wheat buns, or you can wrap your burger with lettuce wraps. You can also create a deconstructed burger bowl and serve it on top of your salad and veggies, or even quinoa or cauliflower rice. So be creative. Gotcha. What about drinks? Because we all know that Memorial Day weekend, you're out barbecuing. <laughs> You might have a couple drinks. What, how do we keep that healthy? Exactly. Well, first off, it's really important to stay hydrated. So tons of water before, during, after your barbecue, especially with the warmer temperatures. But you can also channel your inner mixologist and concoct healthy mocktails, infused water with cucumbers and berries, iced elixirs, homemade kombucha to help with digestion, and you can chill your favorite herbal tea. So it doesn't always have to be the alcohol route. You can have fun with it. And desserts. We know that there's, you know, there's like a brownie tray. There might be a cookie <laughs> tray. How do we still enjoy dessert, but maybe a few fewer calories? I would say first opt for fantastic fruit choices. I know that's not as fun, but sometimes when you fill up on amazing sweet things like watermelon or grilled fruits, even like peaches, pineapple, oh, bananas, or nectarines, yeah. sometimes there's not enough room for the brownies. Not enough room for brownies. I don't know what barbecue you're going to. Um, you say that we can still do all this and reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, how? Yes, there's, and why is there's that huge differences you can make. It's really important. You can shop local for your ingredients, visit your farmer's market for these fruits and veggies, and you make sure to serve all of your food for the barbecue on reusable plates and utensils instead of plastic and styrofoam that don't recycle well. Plus, you can choose these more veggie-friendly options versus all of the heavy burgers. So be creative. Little changes go a long way. What about the pasta salad, the potato salad? How do we make those healthy? Or can, can we? Is there a way to make that stuff healthy? Because that's always we at barbecues, right? <laughs> They are. And so I always encourage people to go with the 100% whole wheat. And you also, when you, when you make sure that at least half your plate has veggies on it, there's less room for all the pasta salad. So enjoy it, but enjoy it in moderation. And I know that there's like little changes you can do to add in like the beans and extra veggies inside of them. So you feel better about what you're eating. Gotcha. Okay. Well, for more information, visit the KarinaMethod.com. Thanks so much for being with us and Happy early Thank Memorial you. Day weekend. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.